I've talked a lot about how to enable multi-factor authentication for Microsoft 365. But what if you want to enable multi-factor authentication when you log onto your Windows computer? Is that even possible? Well, yes it is, by using a product called Duo. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. But before I start, just a quick introduction. My name is Jonathan Edwards. I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. I've got an IT support company called Integral IT, and we help businesses with their IT support and the cyber security. So by now, you should be familiar with multi-factor authentication. It's enabled on cloud applications like Microsoft 365, and it means when you log in, you enter a username, a password, but then you need another form of authentication. Now that other form of authentication it could be an app on your smartphone. It could be a text message sent to your smartphone. But either way, it really increases your internet security. But what about if you want to enable multi-factor authentication when you log onto a Windows computer? So if you think about when you log onto a Windows computer, you use usually just a username and a password. There's no multi-factor authentication. Is this even worth doing? Well, the risk is much smaller. Obviously, Microsoft 365 is a, is a cloud product, so it's available to log in anywhere in the world. With your computer, someone would need access to your computer or your work network, and they'd know, need to know your password. So the risk is much smaller. But when it comes to IT security, even if there's a small risk, you've got to do something about it. Now, my IT company looks after a lot of professional services companies, like law firms and accountants and they can't, can't, they can't afford to get hacked into. So anything that's gonna minimize their, minimize their risk a little bit is well worth doing. So enabling two-factor authentication for Windows logon is really worth doing. So how do you do it? Well, you've got to use a third-party product. So you've got to use something called Duo. Now I recommend Duo, it's a really good application. There is a free version, but the one I recommend actually costs money and it actually costs $3 per user per month. But when it comes to IT security, $3, it's not a lot. So without further ado, let me show you how you will configure Duo for Windows Logon. So this is the Duo dashboard. Now there's two parts to setting up MFA for Windows Logon. First, you've got to enroll all the users into Duo. And the next, you've got to install an application on the PC. So the first thing we'll do is go to users and I'm going to click on add a user. Now it's asking for a username, just minimize that. And it says the username should match the primary authentication username. Now it's important you get this right. If you don't, then it will cause logon problems onto the computers. I'm going to purposely get it wrong to start with to show you what happens and how to fix it. So as a username, I'm just going to put John, I'm going to spell my name wrong. That's what I'll do. I'll spell it with two N's. And I'll click on Add User. Uh, it's then asking for a full name, which I can put in here. And it's asking for an email address. So I'll just put the email in that. And then I'll click on Save Changes. So that will add the user. What I've got to do then is now send them an enrollment email. So we'll click on there and then an email should land in the mailbox. So you can see the email is here. It's asking me to enroll. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on this link here. It says your organization is rolling out Duo. This is our old company logo because we're a Duo partner. So if I just click on here and open a new tab, it's gonna ask me to start the enrollment. So I'm gonna click on start setup. Now it's asking us to choose if we've got a mobile phone and a tablet. Now for enrollment, it's a little bit misleading this. So it's asked, I'm gonna choose tablet because I want to install the app on my phone. If we choose mobile phone, it's gonna to offer to send us a text message. And I want to do everything through the app. So I'm gonna choose on tablet. I'm gonna choose iOS because I've got an iPhone and I'll click on continue. Now at this point, you want to search the app store and install the Duo mobile app. I already have it, so I'm going to choose I've got Duo installed, and I'm going to open the app. And it's asking me to take a picture of the QR code. So once I open it, I'm going to select the option that says choose QR code. I'm just going to take a picture. 
that will recognize it and I can click on done. Now showing on my screen now is a passcode and I've fully enrolled for Duo. So I click on continue. When it asks you to log on, what method do you want to do? I want to use choose something called Duo Push. This just puts a little notification on our phone and we say yes or no. It's by far the easiest way to do it. Do on that, finish enrollment. Now I am enrolled with Duo. So I can close that. So the next thing I want to do is protect an application. So I click on applications. The Windows logon is known as an application. And then I click on protect an application. Now I can see all the applications that Duo works with. So if you use any of these in your business, you can configure them to use Duo for multi-factor authentication. I'm going to scroll right down though to Microsoft. Uh, RDP, there we are, and I'm going to click on protect. Right, it's going to give us lots of these details here, so it's important that we take copies of these. So open a little notepad and we're going to copy and we're going to paste and we're going to copy that and we're going to paste and we're going to copy this I'm going to paste. So that's called the, the bottom one's the API, the middle one is the secret key, and the top one there is the integration key. That's fine. So I'll minimize that now I've got them. I can scroll down here and we can call it what we want. We can call this um, integral IT Windows login, which is good. Now we have got different options here. Uh, I'm just going to leave them for the purposes of this uh, video. I'm going to click on save. Now I've protected my Windows computers, but what I need to do now is I need to log on to each computer. So I'm going to log on to my laptop. Now I am remote controlling this laptop, so this isn't the PC I'm on now. I've just got a, some remote software, but this is a laptop that I want to protect with Duo. So I click on here and log on to the laptop. Now I've already on this laptop gone to the 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 duo page where we download the software now it's not always obvious where the software is but I will put a link here you'll click on download here and it takes you kind of here and you want to click on this one here download the duo authentication for Windows package and that will launch so we'll click on that to run it click on yes and that will start to install the application now i'm going to need all those things that are copied in a previous in the previous section so i'll click on next it's asking for the api host name so if you remember i've got them all in a notepad here so the api one goes in there click on next what's the integration key which again i've got handy so all this does is it links the computer to our duo instance in the cloud it's talking to the cloud so there's a couple of options here now the first one is bypassing duo when offline so you've got to think about if your computer is ever going to be in a situation where it's not connected to the internet and you want to use it so if it if the pc can't speak to duo it won't authenticate so if that is the case it's a good idea to keep that enabled but it doesn't make it as secure but we will keep it enabled and we'll click on next. That's just an option about smart cards. So I'm gonna click on next and next again, and that installs the application. So just let that run through there and we'll click on finish. Now what I'm gonna do to prove, because if you remember, I told you that I got the username wrong. So if I go into File Explorer on this computer here and I go to this PC, I go to me C drive, I go to users, you can see there that my username is Jonathan Edwards. There's no dots in there. But if we go to the portal and go to users, the user I created was not spelled correctly. It had another N in there. So what happens? Now the Duo application is installed on the computer. What happens? Well, let me show you what happens. Let me log off. Let me sign out. So now if we go to log in, it's gonna to speak to the Duo console. Now it's telling me the username I've entered is not enrolled. So if I go back to the console and I look at my users, 
it can't find a user here that is registered so it's given me that error now at this moment in time i can't get access to my computer so that's a bit of a problem isn't it so that's what happens when you get the username wrong so if you go back to it now and i think okay what what can i do here so you can change this username and we can save Now that will again sync with that. So I will enter the password. And now I've got the Duo. So on my phone now, I will open Duo and it's asking me if I want to approve the sign onto the computer, which of course I do. So all I click on is approve and on the screen you can see that it logs straight on. So that is how you enable Duo two-factor authentication when logging on to a Windows device. I highly recommend it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.